How's it going everybody? And welcome to another VFit video. Today I'm out here in a park, out here in nature, and we're gonna do a workout, but this workout involves no equipment, or should I say it does involve something, but the only thing we're gonna be using today is a rock. So go in your yard, go in the park, grab you some rocks, and I'm gonna show you how it's done. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, we're gonna be utilizing some rocks for this workout and grab you a nice size rock that you can uh, hold with two hands, a nice boulder, a nice big rock, but you gotta be able to hold it and you gotta be able to work with it. So don't get something too heavy, don't get something too light. When you pick up the rock, you'll get a feel for it and you know what works for you. This rock I have, I actually weighed it and this is about a 28 pound rock. You can go lower, you can go higher, but for today, I just grabbed this rock and this happens to be 28 pounds and I'm gonna use this for the majority of the workout. But not only this, what I'm also gonna do is involve some other rocks. So get you two smaller rocks as well. And with the two smaller rocks, you want them to be where you can hold them like that without dropping them. Some good sized rocks. These rocks right here, they happen to be about seven pounds each. And we're gonna be utilizing these in a the workout as well. So stay tuned as I show you how we get this workout in. Only using rocks. No equipment, no problem. You don't even have to spend any money. Just go out in nature, grab you some rocks, and get your workout in. So we go work some more of the shoulders and uh, we're gonna do some front raises with the rocks. You should try to do this with some lighter rocks because a big rock may be a little too heavy, but I'm gonna try it with this one right here out front. And we're just gonna, just like that. Have your arms straight, right up like that. This is gonna work the front of those shoulders. Just like that. And when you're doing these, do a set that's comfortable with you. Uh, I normally do about like between 10 to 12, but it really depends on your weight, the weight that you're working with. Uh, if you're working with a real heavier weight, then you may wanna do about five reps, but it's all up to you and what you can work with. What I tell people, is that last rep that you're doing, it should be real tough and it should feel like you can't do anymore. So that's how you can gauge on what's good for you. And like I said, this works the shoulders, specifically the front of the shoulders. Okay, now since we're still doing shoulders, what you can do also, get you two smaller rocks. And I'm gonna show you what you can do with two smaller rocks. Preferably, get you two rocks of the same size because we're gonna do some side raises. Once again, this is gonna work the shoulders, but get you two rocks about similar size that you can grip with one hand. And this is what we're gonna do. Once again, working the shoulders. You're gonna take your arms, extend them, and bring them up just like that to the side. And this is gonna work the top 
of the shoulders and the sides. And like I mentioned, do about 10 reps, 10 to 12. That's what I like to do, especially when you're working with uh, lighter weights, you wanna do more reps. But when you're doing this type of exercise, you really don't wanna go heavy. Light is good. So get something that's comfortable where you can do about 10 to 12 reps. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next exercise. This exercise is gonna work the chest. And uh, if you kinda wanna develop that middle line, that valley in the center of the chest, this is a good exercise for that to beef up your chest. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our two smaller rocks and we're gonna bring them to the side and uh, we're gonna do some chest flies. Just like if you were to use a cable fly machine in a gym, when you're pulling the cables together like that, but we're gonna use the rocks. So we grab them and once again, you get two rocks that are similar in size and that you can, can hold and work with. And you're gonna go to the side, squeeze the chest, bring to the front, squeeze that chest together. And while you're working the chest, this is also working the shoulders as well because you have your arms extended and you're holding these rocks up. You're gonna feel the burn. Even more so a burn than if you would use the cable fly machine. The reason that I say that, because when you're using a cable fly machine and when you do this, that weight goes down so you're not feeling it. But holding the rocks, you're still feeling it because you're still holding the weight. But with the machine, when you make this movement, that weight is down. Then when you go like that, you pull the weight up. So this is actually gonna give you more of a burn in the shoulders just using these rocks. Just show you real quick. Just like that. Alrighty, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna work the back. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my big rock here and I'm gonna do some bent over rolls to work the back. Let me show you how you do these. Just like you would do it with a barbell or some weights. Just gonna get down a little and you're gonna bring it up. I'm bent over and I'm bringing this all the way up to the chest. You do this with a big rock because you're using your back muscles. It's also working a little bit on the biceps. Okay, still working the back. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna do some rows again, but this time we're gonna do them with a single arm holding the uh, smaller rocks. Same movement, but we're gonna have separate arms, separate rocks. Let me show you what I mean. I got my two smaller ones, I'm like this bent over, and I'm just pulling the rocks up. Doing it this way, this works out the biceps as well as the back, because I have this type of grip. But if I was to go like that and do the same thing, uh, it's not gonna involve the biceps as much as I was doing it before. Let me show you real quick. Like this, and still just pulling it up to you. Just like that. You'll really feel it in the back. And work with some rocks that you can work with. 
These rocks right here that I have, they're about seven pounds each. They're not heavy at all. Just show you from the side. Okay, so that's the back. Let's move right along. Okay, so this is a full body movement. It's gonna work out the legs, the arms, the shoulders, pretty much everything. It's a compound movement. You're actually involving quite a few movements with this. It's known in the gym as the clean and press, but we're gonna do it with a rock. Here we go. So this right here, this is going to work those abs, the side obliques. Just hold that rock and go from side to side. You're doing these twists here. All with the rock and no equipment needed. All right, thanks for tuning in to another VFIT video. I hope you all learned something today. And I hope I was able to show you how you can do a full body workout with no weights, no equipment. All you need is some rocks that you can go out in your backyard and find or that you can grab from the park. So like this video, comment, share it with your friends, and also subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. But I appreciate it and I thank you for tuning in. And as always, Stay blessed and remember your body is your temple. This is VFit here signing off. Take care.